uh, Joe Hoggett, Bishop Vermont High School. Um, you know, I, I really like our club um, this year. Um, we've got We've got more commits than, than we've had in the past. I don't know if that means good things, bad things, but uh, we are very talented. Um, you know, I, as I wrote in my report, I think uh, some of the challenges that we're going to face using a multi-use field. So we haven't had some of the practice time that some of these, these other teams had, but we, don't, we try to not use that as an excuse. And we, we find our niches and our, and our places where we can work and do those things. Um, but I feel like we're very deep on the mound. Two of the guys to my right are very excellent pitchers. Um, both of them going to Cal State Fullerton, so um, I'm happy with them. And Tyler's going to Long Beach State, so they get to be enemies. I guess that's why they grouped up the way they did. I'm not sure. But uh, um, we play very good defense. And so um, we, we've got a deep lineup, but we've got to come around to do those things. And so we're not in midseason form offensively yet, but uh, we've played really well defensively so far, and we've pitched really well. And as long as we can keep those guys healthy and manage those guys the right way, which is what we plan on doing, we should be, we should be a force to be dealt with. Coach Steve Doherty, PBR, why don't you just tell us one or two things about each of the guys beside you here? Um, you make me say nice things about them. Uh, so Isaiah, I love all these kids to death. Uh, Jake transferred in um, from us, but Isaiah is he's a 16-year-old junior which you don't find very often these days. Uh, he's been a, a member of our team since he was a freshman. And he played a pivotal role, especially in the playoff run that we had, which we got to the semis a couple years ago. And he was a guy that was uh, closing games out, uh, closed Cyprus out in the quarterfinals. And uh, you know, really, you really saw it then, like what he's capable of being. And he's actually pushed through that, in my opinion. Um, he's a very polished pitcher, so three pitches for strikes. And, um, and, you know, he's gotten better at all the other parts of his game, holding runners and managing that. And um, I attribute a lot of that to our pitching coach and to his work ethic. And so he's got a very good work ethic. Um, he's a super kid, um, which will come back to haunt me later, I'm sure, since I point out all of his faults to him to try to make him better. Um, but, uh, you know, so he, he's going to do big things for us and, and be a key cog in the machine. And Jake, who transferred in last year for, for us, um, who had to sit out and then came on like gangbusters. So we put him in the middle of our lineup. He's a polished hitter. He plays first base. He pitches. Um, he does a little bit of everything for us and kind of anchors the middle of our lineup. Um, when he's right, he, he's, he's got as much power as I've seen from a guy. And I've, I've coached a lot of good players over the years, and uh, he ranks up there with them. And, and then on the mound, too, like I saw um, there was something that happened on Saturday. And it's like, I, I don't want to say it's uh, switch that flipped because I don't believe in that. But uh, he just something happened the second inning out there just became dominant. And it was like, there he is. And so, um, you know, he, he holds, he's got a lot of potential on the mound. Obviously, that's why Cal State Fullerton recruited him. But uh, um, so with those guys leading the, the front of the rotation, and then um, you have this guy, Tyler White, who's going to anchor uh, center field, which makes us really strong up the middle. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a really good catcher and we have a very good young shortstop. And, and so we're very strong up the middle, which you need to be defensively. And, and, and Tyler's bat, Tyler's our three hole hitter. So you got three and four right here. And uh, um, I've said this to him many times. I've said this to a lot of people. Um, I've coached a lot of good players. I really, I really believe Tyler has the skills to be the best player I've ever coached. That's fantastic. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the other guy, the other impact players? Why don't you give us their names? Um, that aren't here? Um, so we have a catcher that's committed um, to San Diego State, Daniel Briones. He's a junior, um, and he keeps developing. Um, all I have to do is read Les's uh, profiles on him at uh, all the showcases, and I go, well, why haven't I seen that? But um, he's, he's coming along there, and so those things are happening. Relax, it's OK. Um, and uh, I mean, Daniel's probably the best uh, catch and throw guy that I've ever coached at the catching position. So, um, you know, he brings that and his bat's getting better and better, which, which we will need to lengthen our lineup. Um, and then, 
Frankie Perales is a sophomore shortstop. He started and played uh, as a freshman all year last year. Um, and he's, you know, he, he makes all the plays. Like, um, the kids tease him. He's the franchise. And, and uh, you know, he walks around with a certain confidence. And I, I personally love it because he believes in himself. And, and you know, these guys believe in him, too. So uh, he'll probably lead off for us and, and get the offense going and table set for the guys behind him. Um, and then there's probably, uh, in my opinion, underrated player um, in Jared Robles, who, you know, we saw is a, he's a, should be our starting left fielder. He'd probably be a relief pitcher. He's a left-hander from, uh, from throwing and hitting. But I've seen, like, I saw something in him when he was a freshman, and he developed a little bit more as a sophomore. And last year he, he had a good year, but not the year that I thought he would have. And so far what I've seen from him is, like, he's ready to bust out and, and be that guy. But, you know, uh, but, you know, we talked about the recruiting earlier. So, you know, I'm hoping something happens for him because I think he's got, uh, got a lot of talent uh, that can do, and we're just going to benefit from it. So uh, I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. Um, and with him batting in the two hole, you got Frankie, him, and then you got these two guys, and, and then we, you know, we can put Daniel behind uh, him. And, and all of a sudden, you know, we're a pretty good little lineup to deal with. And uh, um, as hard and tough as Division I is, I think, I think we'll be a factor. Jacob, less, less with PBR California. Um, a year ago out in Palm Desert, you told me, hey, we got this kid Vargas just transferred in. He's a big bodied guy. He's got a chance to be pretty good. Uh, and that's borne itself out. A little bit of an inconsistent spring maybe last year. Was there a point where you recognized, like, OK, this is what I need to fix. This is what I need to work on. And then that just shot you up. Was there a specific moment? Then I got a follow up for you, Joe. Uh, yeah. Um, during the spring, I didn't have as, as much of a, a good one as I expected, but I still contributed. Uh, but talking with coaches, Coach Chewy, our pitching coach, Coach Hoggett, and then going into the summer, uh, that's when my recruiting process with a lot of schools uh, started and really went up. So that's when I kind of figured that, that I really can do this. And then when Cal State Fullerton came over, that's when I knew like that I need to start working harder and keep, keep going. So yeah. So Joe, for you, two-part question. Did, is there a moment in the spring where you saw something maybe click for, for Jacob? And then uh, I want to follow up on a question about your schedule this year. Um, the day one when he guy walked on our campus, I said, oh, well, this never happens. Um, so it, it, he was good from the beginning. He had to sit out half the year. So um, you know, when you don't play competitively. I, I don't remember him not, not having a sporadic spring. I remember him being a force as soon as he was allowed to play. And he started our playoff game for us and, and um, shut out, you know, El Dorado in the first round. He was, and, and he was a key contributor. He moved into the four hole pretty quickly. And so, uh, so you no, know, I saw him right from the get go. And, and I know he's being a little bit modest because these guys are really good kids. Um, so I'll sing their praises for him a little bit. Now, Tyler might speak highly of himself, but, uh, uh, but you know, these guys are very modest guys. And, and Jake's been great from the get-go. I think he came from, a, I, I don't want to put down the program that he, that he came from. He came from Salesian. I just don't think they played at the same kind of level that we had played. And I think that was probably a little bit different for him. Practice was probably a little bit different for him. And, and I think all those things just bore themselves out. So. So the follow-up for you is, um, what the hell are you thinking with this schedule? Oh, I listen. If you're gonna be the best, or if you want to be the best, then then you gotta be, you gotta beat the best. And so I can't control our league schedule, but I can control the other stuff. And and you know we had an opportunity with no, uh, uh, Notre Dame game opened up like they had another opponent. It opened up. Um, you know, we took advantage of that. Let's challenge ourselves right from the get-go. You know, what we're trying to do um, is give ourselves a chance to win that top division. And we're going to need to experience what those are. So, you know, I saw a lot of people putting out stuff on their Twitters about, you know, our schedule includes all these teams. And, and I said, well, that's what we tried to do. We tried to do that from the get-go. And um, I didn't really get the approval of the players on that, but it was something that I had desired. Um, I've never backed down from anybody ever before. 
And I feel like if you're going to walk around and, and say that you're this type of program, then you should probably, you know, do those things, walk that walk. So. Why don't you hand the mic to Tyler there. And guys, uh, just hand the mic off when you're done. Just speak a little bit about your commitment uh, to the colleges and why you did that. Yeah, well, um, Long Beach State has always been probably my, my dream school from the beginning. I grew up there. I was born there. Um, every Friday night, I used to go to games with my dad. So I think with one of our old assistant coaches kind of like started the, the conversation and us talking. And I got to go around the campus a little bit more, go around the dugouts, the players, the coaches. And I just fell in love with it even more. And then once we got the new coaches with Eric Valenzuela, and I just, after a couple conversations and meeting him in person, I just, I fell in love with the, the campus and the school a lot more. So that kind of cemented my decision to stay there versus decommitting and going somewhere else, maybe. Thank you. Uh, with Cal State Fullerton, um, it was always the dream school like Tyler's. Um, and then when they, when they came over uh, during the summer with the new coaches, Rick Ball and Sergio Brown, I always knew Sergio and, uh, and Rick Ball. Uh, they recruited me since my freshman year at my old school, but just things never worked out. So when they saw me during the summer um, and they offered me a scholarship, I, I knew I couldn't pass it. Um, I, know, I know a lot of my family members used to go to the games, and I know the rich history they have over there. Um, so yeah, I, I couldn't pass it up, and then the campus was great. Um, and just the environment there fit me, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, well, Cal Fulton along with Jake. Um, Cal State Fullerton's always been a dream school. Since I was younger, I used to play with Pomona Titans, always wear the Titan logo. Um, Coach Sergio and the Fullerton staff have always been good. You know, they've had a successful successful year at Fullerton. And once they offered, I took it right away. That was my dream school. 